Okay, server does not specified. Hey guys, welcome to my bungee tutorial. So three, the three things that you're gonna need for right now, or to at least start out with, is terminal or command prompt, a text editing program, and an already built Minecraft server. You can see I've already got my files here. I'd go more into depth here, but I have a tutorial that I've already done, so I'll link that somewhere around here. But we're gonna go ahead and ho head over to the website, which I'll post in the link in the description, to get our first download and only download. So let's over to there now. Okay, so now we're at our first link here. It's at Jenkins MD5. It's from Spigot. And see, you can see the bungee cord and all that, but none of this basically matters. All you want is this thing right here. So it's the second one down from the last successful artifacts, and you just want to click it, and then it'll download it. And yeah, I'll meet you back on the desktop to show you how to build it. Okay, so we're here back on the desktop. So first, you're going to want to create a folder, and since this, this is my bungee, I'm going to call it bungee. See, you got bungee there. So this is, it's, at, its official name is bungee cord, but I'm going to be calling it bungee just because just that's what I call it. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it from my downloads here. So I've got my bungee cord jar that I downloaded from the website. And I'm just going to drag it in there. Cool? Okay, so the next thing you want to do is in our Minecraft server here, we had a start.shell. So in this, so I'm going to open it with text edit, not with terminal, so you can see the code. So it's, it's the same code, except this is different right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it, and I'm going to edit that. So ready? I'm going to copy it, Command C, or edit and copy. And then you want to close this out. You want to open this, and then you're going to paste it, or Control V. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. So, see how it's spigot here? Whatever that is has to be the jar. So I'm going to call it bungee cord, just like it is oh, crod. That's, 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 not, that's not what I meant. Cord. So it's the same as this. You, if you change this, you've got to change this. So you basically want to close that out. So I'll save this, and I'll close it. And then all you want to do is double click it. And then, look, I said this in the last tutorial, but if you do not have the permissions for this, I'll, you just have to open a window and type in chmod a plus, sorry, no caps, a plus x. And you can see it's creating files in the background like last time. chmod a plus x, and then you want to drag, drag that on, and, th and it does nothing. But you, uh, so yeah, and it gives it the permissions. So while we've been doing that, our server has just loaded up, or our bungee. So now that we know it's created all the files here, we're all good. So you'll, you should get a, a modules, location, config, proxy, and plugins here. Yes, there are plugins for bungee. And essentially what a bungee does is it wraps multiple servers together so you don't have to use the same plugins. And you, it, you can divide it into factions, you can divide it in creative, and survival, and multiple servers. So what you want to do for this type of server, this is very important because I'm going to want to type in end, but if I do type in stop, it's not going to stop it like you do with a normal server. See? Nothing. So I'm going to go and do end, and you can see it'll see closing connections and threads. So after you finish that, you're going to want to close this. You want to go back to here. And since we're connecting multiple servers, we're just going to copy this. Or you can just create a whole entire, whole entirely new server, which you would do by just taking the jar, uh, copying this. Okay, so sorry about that. So now we're going to, since we have both servers here, now we're, we're going to go into the bungee here. And now we're going to go through the config. So you're going to want to change this md underscore 5. That's going to be a Minecraft username. So whatever your Minecraft username is. So mine is Florida Boy 15. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Florida Boy underscore 15. And then there'd be permissions, like this is what group they're in, hence the groups. 
And then there's the admin, what admin permissions have. And then, so down here, listeners. So max players, this doesn't, it, you can change that to wherever you want. Fallback server, we're going to get to that in a, in a bit. Host, that's going to be what, what you're running it on. Find a local address you want that on. Ping, pass through, you can enable that if you'd like. Tab list is when you fr is the tab at the top, and it's just if you want it. Yeah, not yeah. This is your default server, obviously. So I put mine or default defaults with lobby. Sorry, forced host tab size. Uh, default server. You're gonna want to put that true if you want people to join the main server, like your lobby. So you want the query enable. It's it's really customizable. So. Now that we've gone through this, so whatever whatever your name for your servers are. So I'm gonna you know what? No, we're gonna name this lobby server. Ready? So we're gonna So we're gonna name this lobby. So this will be our default server. And then this we're going to make it let's make it um, let's make it lobby two. That's Labby. Lobby 2. Or you know what? No, let's go with server 2. Sorry. Just don't want you guys to get confused when this happens. Because a lot of things are going to happen. Okay, so first you're going to want to go into the bungee again. Sorry, the config. And you're going to want to change the port to 25565 which is located in oh, sorry another window open for some reason which is right here the host so instead of 25577 we're going to want to change that to 25565 cuz that's the that's where mine that's minecraft's default port so you're going to want to save it and close then you're going to want to close this and then so you have your lobby here so then you want to go into its server.properties which is the same it's basically the same thing so you can configure this but what we want here is the server port Oop. the server port right here so you're, you're going to want to change this for you can change this to anything you just got to remember what it is so I'm going to change it to 25566 so it's just the next port up so when you close, so yeah, you save it, close it, and we're going to go into the second server here, and then we're going to go into the server.properties, and then you're going to go down to the port, which is right here, and you're going to change that to a different one from the other one, so I'm going to do 25567. So I'm going to go and save, and quit, and then let me just delete the world for this, so, oh, there's just already a new world, that's nice. Um, so now that we've got these two, we're going to go back here. Bungie config again. So down here, our lobby is on 255. It's going to be localhost and 25565. So you're, you're just going to want to change the port here to 25566. And then you're going to want to leave this localhost alone if you're running it on the same machine. If you're not, so say you're running it on another computer, to just like you're running a Bungie on this one and then another server on the other one, another server on another computer. You're going to want to put in the IP address of that computer or how you get to that server. So then you want to put restricted. That's going to be if admins are only allowed to it. So we're going to keep that false because everyone needs to join it. IP forward, it, it doesn't really matter. And online mode, true. So then you're going to want to close this out again. Sorry, I'm going between these so much. And then you're going to close this and go into lobby again, server.properties. And then you're going to go down to the bottom, or almost to the bottom here. In online mode, you're going to want to put that to false. Since joining into the bungee, well, at the bottom there, at the bottom of the bungee, you saw how it was already, already had the online mode. So you just change these to false and don't worry about it, it will be okay. So you just save those and you quit. So then you're gonna wanna start up your bungee here. Make sure everything runs, everything is good. So I'll minimize this. 
I'm going to open our lobby here. I'll start that server up. And then I'll open our last server here and start this server up. So let's make sure all these launch OK. So this will work for also a vanilla server. Um, just I'm using bucket, bucket or spigot servers actually. I'm using spigot. So good. This loaded up. This is loading up. Uh, they're both creating new spawn areas since I was working on them earlier. I needed a server to work on. So see this one's finished and this one's about to finish. Come on. 95. There it is. Okay. So since these all loaded up, I'm going to join you back in Minecraft in one second. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and we're, I went to multiplayer and added a server, so I'm down here, and I add to server, or you can direct connect, whatever your preference is. So I'm going to call this Minecraft, if I can spell it, Minecraft Server, if I can spell that too, wow, I'm having some issues here, Minecraft Server Bungie. And then I'm going to type in local, if I can spell that either, gosh, host. Jost, yeah, my, yeah, gosh, okay. And then I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to scroll down to my servers here and look at that. So it's zero out of one. You can see another Bungie server, which you can change that in the config. You can see it's the default MOTD, or you can get plugins for it. But I'll join it here. I'm logging in. Everything's going okay. And oop. Ta-da, I'm on the server. So yeah, and this is, I'm um, on the server, but I'm um, through the bungee. So you, even that I turn the online mode false, all the skins registered, I can even get my friend to join on if I port forward. So then to go, be to go between servers, you need to do one more thing in the config. So let's go back to the config here. So we're gonna go ahead and wanna end this, stop, and stop. So we're going to restart these in a minute, but we're going to go over to our Bungie config. Let me quit terminal here. Our Bungie config, and we're going to go into, yeah, Bungie config, like I've said three times now. And we're going to basically just copy that right there. So Control-C, Enter, and Control-V. So whatever this is, you're going to want to name it what, what the folder was. So I'm going to name it Server2 and restricted false so everyone can join online mode everything else is good except for the port whatever the port was that you put in your server.properties for the second server is what you're going to want to put here so 25567 and there you go so then you want to save and quit and we'll start this back up so that enables it so you can go between the servers so I'm going to start these all up here there you go. Almost there, you know, the glory of having to wait for servers to load up. Let's see, we've got one loaded here. Come on. Well, is that our so I disconnect here? Refresh, go down. There's our bungee. We'll hop on it. There we go. Nope, every time. Oop, chunks are loading. There we go. So now that we've got this, it'll see you'll see Floorboy15 join the game. Everything's still okay. Now, b to get between servers without like a special plugin, you just have to do server, and then whatever the name of the server folder was. So I'm gonna say sir. I can spell. Oh gosh, my spelling. Server sever. Okay. Okay. Minor brain fart. Sorry. Uh, spacing is very important once I check back up on it. So you're going to want to go into the bungee. You know the drill. The config. And you're going to want to go here. And everything has to be lined up how it was. So this has to go in a couple spaces. Ta-da. Save it. Quit. And then we're going to head back to mine. Or, you know, no, you got to restart the bungee first. So we're going to end this. And we're going to restart it. Since I didn't make any actual changes to the actual servers that it's running, I, c I can just leave these up. 10 seconds, um, let's see, da, 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 da. almost there. Okay, load it up, loading on 25565. Gonna join our Bungie server here. Da, da, da. Okay, there we go. 
and you can see I've joined and my my piggy friend over there looking up the the sky the sky so beautiful but anyway to get between servers like I was saying you just have to do set server this server and you can see that there are two servers that I can go to server 2 and lobby so all I do is slash server server 2 see and it wow it really oh it's because it keeps editing it and you can see now I'm in a different place I joined a different game so guys yeah I think that's gonna wrap it up for today uh, thank you for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe Hey guys, quick note before I go, uh, number one, I wanted to thank Minecraft Time for subscribing. I'll put a link in the description or right here on screen to his channel. Uh, sorry about the video being late, and um, this is actually a map that I'm creating currently with lots of cool features in terms of jump boost, speed, cool power-ups, different maps, single player mode, different types of things. and like team pvp it's actually a kit pvp map but anyway look for that on minecraft planet i'll leave a link when it comes out and if you want to see anything special done by me in terms of servers or mini games or if you want me to check out your server tell you how it looks tell you how it's doing any suggestions just message me or email me and uh yeah see you guys <laughs>